friends and welcome back to Mass Effect. In our last video, we finally made our way to Novaria and we are still exploring everywhere all around Port Hanshan. And we ended our day in the, I don't know, the lobby of the hotel, I suppose. And there are a bunch of people to talk to. So let's go ahead and get started first with Malene because she's very insistent that we speak to her. The male human at the hotel bar, He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Yeah, have, have we met before? It's entirely possible because I don't remember anybody ever. <laughs> but let's see. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Hmm. Uh, it, let's have a moment, though. The, do you know who I am? <laughs> anyway, why can't you do this? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Hmm. Why me? What's this about? Not interested? Why should I trust you? Yeah, what, what's it about? That's that's the most important question. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Oh, I mean, it probably is technically illegal. But the powerful biotics that arrived are the ones that came with Liara's mom, Matriarch Benezia. I think those words are correct. But what, what's my reward if I do this? What's in it for me? Money, of course. <laughs> I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. This is illegal. No, we're gonna, I, I wanna do, I wanna do it. <laughs> so let's do it. <laughs> Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Yes, please brief me. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. Okay. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I quit. <laughs> That's just too complicated. I quit. So, okay, bye. I'll go see him now. <laughs> I hope to hear from you soon. But me too, I think, maybe? So, Novaria Espionage, an Asari named Malin Callis, has asked you to wiretap Raphael Vargas, who I remember from the last time was in the lobby and she just told me, but anyway. Um, she gave you a device that will hack into his personal network as you speak to him. So, Vargas is at the hotel bar in order for Malin's device to work. You have to keep him talking about his business. He is a shrewd man who can tell if someone is wasting his time. Ugh. I gotta be sneaky. I'm so bad at being sneaky. I really am. <laughs> okay, so Lorik Quinn, I'm not saying that right, is the one that I need to talk to for leaving Port Hanshu for, and Lorik Quinn. So there's that. But let's try and do this espionage one first. Let's let's save in case I mess it up and then I can reload, right? That, that's how That's how video games work anyway. Can I help you? I'm an alliance. Oh, I'm a Spectre. That should impress him. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Raphael Vargas, Sales. Were you interested in our services? <laughs> Sorry, asked me to spy on you. Uh, I am, if the price is right. Let's 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 still play along. He could be a bad guy, right? And I'm just catching him. There's my justification. <laughs> I might be. 
That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Hmm, that's correct or that's irrelevant? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's go with that's irrelevant. I feel like we need to be a little stern shepherd. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another GenEng firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Muscle, muscle degeneracy? What does that mean? What about pain immunity, small improvements? Now let's go with muscle, muscle, muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Hmm. She said to press him. I don't have enough for anything special, which is fine. But let's try... That seems high. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you're here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. <laughs> you sound guilty. No, not everything I do is legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Hmm. I'm being paged? Let's try that one. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the Citadel. I survived! I was sneaky! <laughs> so, my update, hacking complete. You've successfully hacked into Vargas's network. Return to Malene Callus. I feel like some of those... Some of some like health regeneration and some of that stuff sounds useful, but I feel like that's genetic altering of humans, and I feel like that can't possibly be legal. But let let's find out. Hello, Meline. Any results? Uh, it's I quit. <laughs> no, it's done. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. 500 credits? That's all? Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more, since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Got some renegade points, that's good. So, and the, the, the quest is also complete. So, an Asari named Malene Callas asked you to spy on Raphael Vargas. You did as she asked. I did do as she asked. What is my renegade versus... Oh, and I leveled. Nope, that's not the right spot. Renegade versus Paragon. Yeah, I mean, like, it's fine. Okay, so let's save here, and let's go and talk to Laura Quinn. So he's the other guy who can help us get off of Port Hanshan. So I need a pass to leave. He keeps wanting to say Hanshu instead of Hanshan. I, I apologize if I've said it wrong like a million times. But anyway, hello, Loric. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Loric Quinn? Are you Loric Keen? Keen. I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? Hmm. I need to get into Peak 15. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office, for the moment at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. 
He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I hope I can get back to the investigate portion because I, I would really like to do that. Um, and again, here's a moment where Tyrion voices are so good. I like them so much. An intriguing coincidence. You mean kickbacks? What about the garage? Hmm. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Yeah, I bet he has. But an intriguing coincidence. Let's go with that. I sense a connection there. Indeed. <laughs> I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Oh, oh okay, I like credits. I, I want to go shopping at some point. I want to head back to the Citadel and go shopping. So let's see, card working? Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Yeah. Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. What's a Nathak? I, I wonder. Pass source? How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. And I really love the, like, the facial paint that he's got going. I, I really, I really like that on Turians. But of, of course I'm interested. We need the pass to go and do what we need to do here. So we don't really have a choice. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other, oh, what is that charming human expression? <laughs> Fly in the lotion? Ointment. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Hmm, I can't do that. I'll figure something out and they're crooked. Well, they probably are crooked because it sounds like Mr. Manager of, of all, of, all of everything here is also a little crooked. So let's go with that one. He's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? <laughs> okay. So, let's see. We need to break in, take the elevator on the lower plaza level to Synthetic Insights. Once inside, find Work's computer and download the files. Okay, but I, first I want to... Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Oh, sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, good vacation, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort then? At the equator. Bounce backing, diving, an accredited asset you're afield. If you like that sort of thing, I'd rather admire the view. You guys need to speak up. I can't overhear. You're, you're mumbling. Okay, and I'm I'm wandering in the wrong areas. Okay, let's go over here. Oh yeah, that's right. Snowstorm outside. We're totally gonna have to drive through that with Miko. What are these? Like an ATM or something? Like, I, I don't, they don't need cash, I don't think. You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Yeah, but you want to anyway, I know you do. What's over here? I mean, I appreciate that there's rooms just to have rooms, but I feel like there should be something in them. <laughs> like if they're not related to a quest, it just seems, I don't know, an empty room. Where am I going? Brings me up and around over here. I love my, I still love my new armor. Looks so good. The doorman. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Oh. But don't I have access? Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on Navaria now. I can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. It's real time from the Traverse. Did you think it would be cheap? Hm. I need some information. There's an issue here with synthetic insights. The manager, Laura Keane, he got caught with his toes wet. The office is closed by Hanshin's administrator. I, I need you to see what you can find out about. Are you ready for his name? 
Rana Drill, Gan, Swa, Fulsum, Keratin, Nar, EAD, Bell Amalaeus. No, that's the administrator. The Hanshin administrator. Well, think about it. A Turian wouldn't risk getting his office closed. They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into them from boot camp. I think the administrator is using this keen fella to draw flies from his own clutch. Of course I could look it up myself. But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Noveria's own network? That, and it would take forever for any out-system search results to get back here. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. Well, thank you, good sir. That was most informative. In Morda. Okay, that's the guy we need to talk to for... The smuggling one, right? Yeah, Novaria smuggling. I need to go and retrieve the package, but let's save and see if we can talk to him first. What do you want? Hmm, what are you, what are you having to talk about Opold? I've heard Opold has something for you. Like I care that you know? He was courier or something? Uh, I will be. Yes, but I haven't picked up his cargo yet. Sit down a minute. I have a business proposal. Oh, really? I'm paying the Hanar more than I want. I'll bet he's paying you less than you want. Sell it to me directly. Hmm. Maybe? I'll consider your offer. We'll make the right decision. Hmm. Do I get updates? No. Interesting. But I like the... the Hanar. Oh, my skills are too low for... Oh, dang it. I forgot. I have no decryption, so I gotta make a note to come back. Well, I'll try to remember to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we needed to go... Where did we need to go for... Keen? Take the elevator on the lower plaza level to Synthetic Insights. Okay, let's... This is the upper level, so... I think I went over there already. in all those rooms, so it's got to be out here somewhere, right? See, this is a perfect time for some elevator banter. I'm just saying. Get to know each other, ask personal questions, make inappropriate comments, Ashley. <laughs> Okay, so elevator. Elevator to synthetic insights. Okay, so that one's over here. I really do like the music out here. Am I going to the right spot? I am. <laughs> Lily Herex, who who are, who are you? Spectre, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? Well, let's ask some questions first. Local news. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's a problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus, and a matriarch came through. She did. I, I heard about that. So let's ask about Peak 15. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. Fifteen's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. Oh, really? Let's ask about Benezia. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. And then Synthetic Insights. What was that about Synthetic Insights? Scuttlebutt says Laura Keen was on the take. Zainalea so shut down SI's offices, quiet-like, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. Hmm. 
and personal questions. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshin. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. Hmm. And then I need to leave the station. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. <laughs> but, but yeah, but you have one, right? Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, <laughs> security tracks card use. Okay. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. What updated? Uh, Novaria Peak 15. Contact has been lost at Peak 15, the remote facility where Matriarch Benezia went. Mysterious rumors. Port Hanshan is full of rumors about Peak 15, but few facts. Where do these... And these stairs go up to the garage. Access to the garage is restricted. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave this station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. She's very startled. Her eyes are so wide open. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go over here to the insights elevator. Let's save before we go up there. Okay, maybe if I come out here I can save? There we go. Again, no conversations. It's just like an awkward elevator ride with people who don't like each other. Okay. Now, let's save out here. I know I did just save, but... They're mercenaries, right? Okay, Lorix offices, synthetic insights, stairs. Well, let's go everywhere else first. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Uh, yeah, or, or, or what? <laughs> How about Keen let me in here? Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Hmm, you're here illegally. Let's try to be reasonable. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Uh, uh, okay. That, yeah. Enemy is everywhere. Oh, that's right. I forgot my, hang on. I've got another assault rifle. Let's try and equipping that one. It does slightly less damage, but maybe I can. She's got her sniper rifle. She's got her gun. Okay. Let's see, let me get my bearings. All right. Look out! Where are we? Who are we even? Sh I will destroy you. Yeah, that's a better option. Whoa. Okay, let's find those stairs, I suppose. Stairs were back this way. Come on. There we go. I just like the automatic Area so much secured. better. I'm. I know the other one does technically more damage, but it'll be fine. <laughs> it's we're not like on a soup. Ah, decryption. So I gotta come back to Synthetic Insights now. Not sure if I'll be able to come back, but I can try, right? Am I in the office already? I am. Let's take the upgrade kits. Um. Maybe it's upstairs? Oh, dang it. 
That's actually getting really annoying now, but I'm, I'm sure it's fine, right? Maybe. Hopefully it doesn't prevent me from getting quests, though. That's, that's the one thing. Because I remember when we were on Pharos, I unlocked a bunch of stuff and got quests for it. Now, I think they were like side quests. So in theory, I think you guys mentioned, even if I just go to the planets, I'll get the quests. But still, <laughs> why, why am I equipped with that one? That's weird. There we go. That's better. Hmm. Okay, and then there's Keen's computer. You download the evidence from Lorik's computer. And then there's another decryption. Sorry, I'm having to pause and write down and make notes. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna forget to come back. Kara Sterling. Oh, this is the jerk security guard lady. Right? Maybe she's the corrupt one. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Yeah, she is the jerk one. So your point, lady? Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? What a load of crap. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, you're mercenaries, you're not cops. So they didn't give me a choice. I'm on a mission. Bring it on. I don't like this lady, so bring it on. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. Mm-hmm. You talk to talk. Let's see if you can walk after I break your legs. Lady is so annoying. Alright, hey. I will destroy you! Decryption skill is too low. Oh gosh, decryption. Killing me. All right, note to self, always bring decryption electronics with you. Because now I'm just going to come back and do a lot of stuff. I will destroy you! Now it gets fun. Liar, why are you clear. throwing around chairs and stuff? I mean, that doesn't seem... Okay, you know what, it's fine. <laughs> so, Novaria Lorik Keen. The update was... Evidence in hand, you've recovered Lorik's evidence. Return it to him at the hotel bar. I wonder if I could find... Matsuo, I think her name was? The head of actual security? I imagine she would be interested that her... Her, I don't know, minions basically were breaking the law. Or maybe she wouldn't. She'd probably just get upset that I killed them. But they were breaking the law. They were mercenaries. I'm hoping I can come back. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi, hi Gianna. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Hmm, must be Analeas' thugs? Let's try that. It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. But you're you're the one who told me to talk to Keen. Gianna wants to speak with wants you to speak with her at the hotel bar before you return the evidence to Lorik. Uh Okay. I didn't think I was being that smart ass, but like, okay. <laughs> okay. So let's go back to the bar. I feel like I should actually, actually let me check something. Can I come back? That's the question. So far it looks like I can, which is good. Cause I would really like to keep Ashley because we haven't gotten to use her a bunch and and I want to bring Liara because her mom's involved. So it'll be fine, right? I should stop worrying about unlocking certain things. <laughs> As I'm still talking about it. Anyway, bar is over here. 
gosh, I love that new armor. Looks so great. It's Gianna. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Hmm, why are you here? Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Oh, okay, your job? You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Oh, okay, that seems reasonable. So you can't do this yourself? Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? Well, you don't know if you don't ask. And then corruption. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. Hmm, good point. So, yeah, I need Keen's pass, though. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. It is. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. So, Peak 15 accident. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all-clear. That's all you know? What if there is no all-clear? But, yeah. That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. And what if there is no all clear? And if the crew never sends an all clear? The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. Holy crap, like these guys are so serious. <laughs> so reach peak 15. How can I get to peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. And then Matriarch Venezia. Do you know why the Matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. What was in the crates? Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. Hmm. Well, uh, I, I think I think my shepherd would want to get rid of Analeas. He was such a jerk. They were so mean to me, and this is a nice way to do it. I don't think she needs to pay me more, because if she gets rid of Analeas, then she'll let me into the garage, and I feel like that's payment enough at this point. So I'll help you. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. And another update. So let's see. Gianna's proposal. Gianna wants you to persuade Lorg to give his evidence to her and testify against Analeas. And then Novaria Peak 15 also has an update. Gianna warned you there has been an accident at peak 15. Yeah, an accident like that they're gonna like just, just destroy everybody if they don't hear from somebody fast enough. I <laughs> like, it's so serious. <laughs> All right, Keen. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? So leaving Han shot. Oh, we already did those. So yeah, you can testify against Analeas. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Hmm. Damn right I will, and he'd be a hero. Yeah, you'd be a hero. Let's play to his ego. It could work, right? <laughs> Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas's extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. 
they will be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Great. Plus 24 Paragon. Holy crap, that's a lot. So Lorik agrees. You persuaded Lorik to testify. Report back to Gianna at Annalise's office. I'm so convincing. <laughs> like, convincing people seems extremely easy. Let's see, I still don't have any more in charm or intimidate. But, wow. Paragon's almost fully maxed out. That's kind of crazy. Okay, but we need to go to... Go back to Gianna, and she's in Analeas' office. So let's take the elevator back down. So I gotta say, you guys have mentioned that the elevator rides were their loading screens. I kind of like that better than sitting somewhere at just like a flat screen, watching like an icon like swirl around and you waiting for who knows how long. I, I like that they they did that. It's, it's kind of sneaky and smart. And I wish more games figured out a more, I don't know, immersive way to have a loading screen. Not that games have that bad of loading screens well sometimes these days but you know what i mean okay let's pick it up shepherd is this the right spot right it is <laughs> why do i still have that on there i thought i took it off last time All right, Gianna. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? Yes, I convinced Keen. It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Y you're welcome. Yeah, I thought you'd be happier, but what about the garage? So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. <laughs> this is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. <laughs> you, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. Right? <laughs> see you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. I love this smirk on Shepard's face. Oh, that was perfect. Can I go in here and poke around now? Ah, decryption skill is too low. Okay, well, I need to come back and, and figure that one out. So let's see. Novaria Lorik Keen is completed. He persuaded Lorik to testify against Analeas before the Novaria Executive Board. Analeas has been arrested. Oh gosh, that smirk when he got arrested from Shepard was... Perfect. I know I just said it, but it was so good. <laughs> okay, so how about before we head out to, what is it, Peak 15, let's go take care of this other side quest that's on, well, that's around here. So I need to go and pick up this package, and then I may swap Ashley out to Garrus real quick and... Then go around and do all the decryption work. Are you still gonna not talk to me? Analeas was running this place just fine before that Parasini woman came along. Wow. I guess you guys all like being extorted. There we go. I thought I was like, am I at the wrong elevator? <laughs> but yeah, I can switch out Ashley for Garrus, and he's got a bunch of decryption. And then before I leave the station, switch Garrus back to Ashley. So that's all, all sorted and done with. At least that's my plan, anyway. <laughs> Liara's movements inside of the elevators crack me up. Hmm. I was hoping there might be another one of the security people out here. Ah, oh, here she is, Mako Matsuo. Commander. I'm glad you stopped to talk. I wanted to tell you how unfortunate it was that Analeas Sama was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Rest assured, I bear you no ill will. Hmm, he was a criminal. Do you condone his actions? Your opinion doesn't matter. Well, he was a criminal. Unfortunate. 
He was a criminal, Captain. The executive board is not concerned with galactic law, Commander. That's why this planet was settled, after all. As far as they are concerned, Analea Sama went too far. On Ovaria, you may do what you wish, so long as you do not disturb public order. I only request that you limit the number of disturbances you provoke. I would consider it a favor. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Do what you have to do, Captain. I'll do the same. I see. That makes your position clear enough. If you'll excuse me, I must file reports on this incident. Good day. Good day. I felt like I was snarky and should have gotten renegade points, but it's fine. Okay, well, I'm going to swap out uh, Ashley for Garrus and meet you over by this exclamation point momentarily. All right, well, I have picked up Garrus. I've actually leveled up and I've switched to another new weapon because it's the Pulse Rifle 7 Geth Armory. It's kind of crazy. It's a Geth weapon, but we'll see how it, how it goes. It does a lot more damage than... I think it was the, yeah, the Avenger 7. So I'm gonna keep everything that I have and hopefully it it works the way that I want it to work. But anyway, let's pick up Opal's package and then return the package. You've recovered Opal's package. It appears to be a powerful experimental weapon mod. Bring it back to him at his store. I'm gonna bring it back to him. I didn't really want to, um, bring it to the mercenary Krogan. He was very snarky and Opold was very, very nice to us. You know, so I feel obligated to be nice back. <laughs> but anyway, let's go take this elevator ride back up there and then we can start working on these description. Such a long elevator ride. But we're here. <laughs> so let's talk to Merchant Opold. Do you have the package? The customer grows restless. Yes. Oh, no, not yet. Who's the recipient? I'm keeping it. I want to... Oh, I could keep it? Hmm. That's tempting, but let's just say yes. Here you are. The specter has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Yeah, I, or, or more likely, yeah, I hope it's a joke. I do hope that's a joke, but you needed me. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. <laughs> This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. Yeah, that, that's, that's better. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Okay, I don't think I need to buy anything. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Oh, okay, so let's see. Smuggling. You gave Opald his package. I, I did. Okay, so per my notes that I took earlier, I need to go to the upstairs of the bar to decrypt one thing. All right, well, I did try to go back to the bar and look for that decryption unit, and I for some reason I couldn't find it. So it either went away, or I'm going to have to just come back and do it at a later point uh, and, and once I figure out where it actually is. But we're in Synthetic Insights right now. Let's do these. Okay, nothing. I mean, it's exciting things. Oh, and wait. I leveled up Garrus and he can wear medium armor now. So what does this look like? So definite improvement. Oh, much better. He looks so much less squishy. <laughs> so that's one of them. I think there's at least one more potentially. Maybe two more. But that was that one there. Was there one down here? There is a weapons locker. Okay, that's sorted. And then let's head back upstairs. I feel like, oh wait, there was the door upstairs. Ooh, that's right. But I am tempted to keep my group as it is and then just bring Ashley along when I can bring 
like Tally or Garrus with me because then I want to make repeated attempts at, you know, exploring areas because I'll be able to unlock everything at the same time. So I think that's what I may unfortunately just need to do at the moment. Was there one here? There is. I just hate having to come back. It's just, it's tedious. <laughs> oh, darn it. Oh, here's a big gap. Uh, mm, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I have lots of Omni Gel, so there's that. Incendiary rounds and polonium rounds. Okay. So I think it's the last one, but there was the elevator door over here. I wonder where that takes me. Oh, it just gets me into another office, it looks like. Technician's kit. And then medical kit and wall safe. Okay, well, I think this is actually where I'm going to pause for today. Like I just said, I think I'm gonna leave Garrus and Liara in my group just so I don't have to make a second trip back out to, what is the name of the place that I'm going to? Peak 15. And then in tomorrow's video, we'll head down to the garage and head out to Peak 15, which should be very interesting. Oh, there's a crate, hang on. I missed a crate. Nice. But tomorrow we'll head on to Peak 15, hopefully find Liara's mom and figure out what's going on out there and, I don't know, go from there like normal. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect video.